I want to take a second to say hi to someone who is really special who is in my audience today. This is the amazing Ameka. Um, we call him the amazing Ameka. He was on our show a month ago, and because of his incredible story and then the work he's doing with his community, and because we gave away 12 days tickets that day, he got to come back. So he was back today. So, all right. How have you been since you've been here? What's changed? What's your life like? Oh, I have been amazing. Um, a quick update. Um, thank you. Well, first, I want to say I'm so grateful for you, for Cheerios, for everyone that wrote letters in. Just, it's been an amazing outpour of love. And um, update you, Cheerios, I was able to get a new van. Um, I got a beautiful... I got, a, I got a beautiful new van, and in honor of you, that van name is Ellen. Aww. Um, and last week, my dad got good news that he was able to put weight on his foot. He's back on his feet. Oh, so he's going to ask how your dad is. That's hey, good. He's back. He's a little wobbly. He's like, he like a fresh baby deer, but uh. <laughs> he's back on his feet now. And uh, the outpouring of love has just been amazing. It's, it's incredible because two months ago, it felt like the sky was falling. Yeah. Today, I feel like I'm flying. And so it's amazing. Um, well, you are incredible and such an inspiration. And I know how important those kids are. So uh, we want, we know your shelter needs supplies and food. And uh, our friends at Cheerios want to help them by giving them $20,000. <laughs> Tell us what you're doing, what good you're doing. We want to know. Let's just spend any more time with Amazing Ameka. This guy, I love this guy so much. He is, I mean, what an inspiration. I, I just know that <laughs> people watching that feel sorry for themselves and say, oh, I have so, you know, stuff going on in my life, and, and then here's a guy with the attitude of just, you're just, you're amazing. What do you want to say? Anything? I will say this much. That for me, the one of the biggest things that has helped me get through everything is, you know, I have faith in God, I have faith in people, and I have faith in myself. And perspective to me is the most powerful thing. And like one of the things that I usually tell people is like, imagine if you woke up this morning, you're driving on your way to work, and you get a flat tire, right? And you know, you're on the side of the road, flat tire makes you miss your appointments, makes you miss. The Ellen Show, which would be, it would suck. It would suck. Like, let's, let's be clear. That would suck. Let's fast forward to the end of your day, and I ask you, you know, how was your day? It's a good chance that a flat tire comes up. Like, I had this flat tire, made me miss the show, made me miss these meetings. Let's fast forward to the end of your life, and let me ask you, how was your life? There's a good chance that a flat tire is not going to come up. And if a flat tire does come up, then you're not doing enough with your life. But it's one of those things... It's one of those things where it's like, okay, a problem that arises, is this a flat tire in my life? Like, is this something that's really big or is it really small? Because a problem in the scope of a day can seem really big. A problem in the scope of a life is really no problem. And so that's the one thing. Always put things in the right perspective. You know, be amazing. I love that guy.